Hello everyone, this is Dragonard and welcome to episode 14 of Halford Hogwarts in Minecraft. And today it is finally the long awaited episode on the Astronomy Tower, which is of course this tower right here, which we did make a start on last episode. And so I guess we just get straight into it. And so here we are finally in the episode on the Astronomy Tower. And the first thing I do want to show you is why this episode has taken so long to make. And so if you do look at the picture on the screen, we can see that the Astronomy Tower has a very, very complex design. And so I wasn't able to do my usual method of just taking a few screenshots, adding some dimensions and just building it as a tutorial from that. I had to do a step-by-step -step tutorial for myself, so I would be able to do a video on this to make it very easy for you guys to follow. And so that is what I have been doing, building each astronomy tower step-by-step -step as you go, it gradually gets bigger. And so in total, there are going to be 13 steps in this episode to complete the astronomy tower. And as you can see in every single one, we gradually get closer and closer to the finished product, which is this over here. Of course, with a different color scheme in mind. And I hope it does make lots of sense when we do build it, and that it is very easy to follow. Anyway, without further ado, let's get straight into some background context on the Astronomy Tower. And so the Astronomy Tower, it is rather a new tower in the scheme of Hogwarts ages. It is only seen in two movies, three movies if you do include the new Crimes of Grindelwald movie, and it is introduced in the Half-Blood Prince once it becomes necessary to have an Astronomy Tower since it's kind of the focal point of the movie. There's so many scenes that there's Harry and Hermione there. It's obviously where Dumbledore dies and so it's a very very important part of the film and it was designed to be a brand new tower. However, I think we should just go back to the first film and see what was here originally. And so of course the first film was filmed primarily on location in Durham Cathedral which is in England and so this was the Durham Cathedral courtyard right here and it shows great resemblance. And so in this wall along here, well, there was no astronomy tower. Instead, there was one building which wrapped around the front just like this. And this is where the transfiguration department was. And it does match the interior set of a transfiguration classroom very, very well. And that was just here. And of course, there are some screenshots of that on the screen right now. And so that remains primarily the same in Chamber of Secrets. However, then it evolves once again in The Prisoner of Azkaban. And so in The Prisoner of Azkaban, we do see a large change. The Dark Tower gets introduced, which is the first sign of some large scale building in this area. And so the Dark Tower, of course, is where Sirius Black was held before he is freed by Harry and Hermione. And that is pictured right here. And that remains the same with the fourth and fifth films. And then before we do move on to the Harpler Prince film, we also need to learn what happens in this block right here. For this block, it does change basically in accordance with the Astronomy Tower. And so in the first five films, this block was the Defense Against the Dark Arts building. The Defense Against the Dark Arts building itself remains basically the same. However, this connecting building does change throughout the films. And so at first, there wasn't really a building of this at all. It was rather just a kind of square cubic, kind of little building outside. And it had a bridge going across along this line right here. However, a few films later, it does kind of resemble this. However, the Defense Against the Dark Arts building is right here. And so the Defense Against the Dark Arts building was removed and then this connecting building was kind of extended just to fill in the space. And then the Astronomy Tower, of course, was built for the Half-Blood Prince and remains the same for the Deathly Hallows movie with the only changes in the Deathly Hallows being some subtle changes in the rest of the model and, of course, the change in the Fire Death Courtyard right over there. But that is enough context. Let's get straight into building. And so the first thing we are going to do is build up 48 blocks onto our Astronomy Tower. And so this is this inner ring right here. And so we are going to be building out 48 blocks on these blocks along here. So of course on this straight edge right here, coming out like this, and then just wrapping around just like this. Of course, we did highlight this layer in episode 13 before. And so this is the layer we are going to be building. And so upon this layer right here, we are going to build up 47 more blocks since we've already built this one layer here. And we are just going to ignore this front face right here, except these two blocks in the, in the corners right here, and just leave this front face here open just for now. And so build up 47 more blocks on this layer here. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 
13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40, 41, 42, 43, 45, 46, 47. And I just noticed that I forgot to count 44. Um, it doesn't really matter, just it's a blank wall anyway, it's fine. Of course, do not worry too much if that is not 47 blocks. It really shouldn't matter too much. And then the next thing we are going to do is, well, we are going to use some full commands to fill this in. And since it is quite a large area to fill in by hand, and so what we are going to do is, of course, use our dynamic fill commands. And so, the first thing we are going to need to do is just build out the layout of this drone tower just at this level here. So what we are going to do is just build out along here, basically just following the layout we have below us. And this should, of course, be identical to this layout down there. And so just make sure we are following the exact same layout. And this should be exactly on top of what we built already. And so just go ahead and just build out this layer of this drummy tower. So that should be two there and then three right there. So that should be the center. So if we break this block, we should fall directly onto here, which we do. That is perfect. And so of course, just loop this back round. So two there, one diagonal, one diagonal like that. And then one kind of L shape like this. And then just coming all the way back in just like this until we do line up back here. And this, of course, should be identical to this block right here, which I think it is absolutely perfect. And so, yeah, all we did was just build out this ring right here, up into the sky up here. And then, of course, add in these two blocks right here. And so what we are going to do is just use our dynamic fill command. So do slash fill, one squiggle, one squiggle, minus one, another squiggle, another squiggle, another squiggle, and then minus 47, just like that. And then another squiggle, just like this. And then cut sandstone as the ID of the block, cut sandstone. Of course, sandstone two if you are on bedrock edition. So press enter, and that should just fill in just like this. And so all you need to do is just run this command on every single block on this ring right here. It will be the exact same command each time, since this command is dynamic, since it does use the lexicons, which use your current locations, and therefore we will not need to change any coordinates and just need to run the exact same command on every single block along here, just like this. And that will look like this once done. Of course, that will sound very, very quickly with the fill commands. And then the next thing we are going to do is just build up across this length right here with a, with a two block high beam, just like this. And then if we do come down to the bottom, we can build in this gap eight blocks up. So, so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, just like this. And just fill in this gap right here. And of course, we can use the full command. So looking at this block right here, touch fill, hit three coordinates. And of course, the three coordinates right down here. I'm assuming you are now more familiar with the full command. And of course, just fill it in with cut sandstone, just like that. And then this leaves in a region for our windows and so the windowed area we are going to be building is going to be one block behind it's going to be kind of indented in this area and so what we are going to do is just place one block right here and take this box coordinates with slash fill press tab three times just like this and then come up all the way to the top up here and take this coordinate right here and fill that in with cut sandstone just like that and then we can now start to add in the windows. And so the first thing we are going to do is add some decoration to this flat wall since it is very, very boring. And so what we will do is place a block here and just going along on our alternate blocks, it's just place in blocks like that. And then you can grab yourself some sandstone stairs and place these upside down just along here, just like that. And then what we can do is just repeat this down here. So one block here, and of course on alternate blocks, just placing these just like this. Of course, identicals out there. And then just place in some sandstone stairs just along, just like that. And then just add some of the final decorations. We will just add some loops of sandstone walls just going up just like this on each of these solid blocks, obviously on alternate blocks, just like this. And these will just go up all the way to the top until we do reach the top, just like this. And then just have these sandstone wall strips just going along the entire face of the astronomy tower. And that will then look like this with the sandstone walls on alternate blocks, basically on all of these solid blocks along here. And now we can add in the windows. So grab ourselves some black stained glass panes 
and just place one right here. So one block above this stair and just place these all the way along the tower, just like this. And then all we are going to do is just repeat this along the entire face of the tower in this kind of indented section and just build up these windows leaving a two block gap in between the windows and just continuing this up for the entire face of the tower. And so just build these windows up all the way to the top of this indented section up to there. Of course, leaving a two block gap in between each of the windows. And that will end off just like this. Do not worry if the windows are not do not end at the same height as mine. It really does not matter. The only thing that matters is that there are a lot of windows. And so what we are going to do, just to add some reference points for the next few parts of the tutorial, we are going to grab ourselves a diamond block, a gold block, and an emerald block. And these are just going to refer to different heights of where towers come out. And so the first thing we are going to do is place a diamond block right here to refer to the height of the top of this area. And then what we will do is come down five blocks, so one, two, three, four, five, and on the sixth block, place in an emerald block right to there. So there should be a five block gap in between here. And then leave another five block gap, so one, two, three, four, five, and then on the sixth block, place a gold block just there, just like that. And you will refer back to these lines in later parts of this tutorial. And then next, it is time for step two. And so the first thing we are going to do is add in this side tower along here. And so the first thing we are going to do is come in on the, onto the third block of this corner right here and build out two blocks, so one, two, just like that. And then build three blocks along here and then repeat this circle of three blocks along and that will look just like that. And you will notice it is not centered around the corner of the tower. That is perfectly fine. And then beneath the tower, we are going to build down six blocks. So one, two, three, four, five, six. And then in these walls here, just smash these walls just for blocks right here. And so just extend this down six blocks right here. And you will notice it does extend down to the same height as where this emerald block is, which we just placed. And so just extend this down six blocks, just like so. And that will just fill in just like this. And then what we are going to do is just add in some stuff beneath it just to kind of round off the tower and so place three stairs along each side so just there and there and then of course just smash in the wall just there and then three stairs on this side as well and then one stair right there just like this and then just fill in this gap right here with some lovely sandstone stairs and then place a sandstone stair there and just have these loop around just like this and then of course just place a sandstone block right in the center just like that and then the next thing we are going to do is build up 19 more blocks in this tower it is worth noticing that this tower does include this block right here. And so build up 19 more blocks. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, just like this. And then just build up the entire tower by 19 more blocks to the same height as this pillar right here. And there we have it. It is now 19 blocks taller. And that will just look like this with three blocks, of course, on each side with the corners cut out just like that and then all we need to do is just add on the roof on top so grab yourself some dark oak plab some dark oak slabs and some dark oak stairs and then a dark oak fence and a stone brick wall and so what we will do is build a three by three area just like this and then two blocks on the top just like that and then place a slab there and a slab right here and then place a fence on top and then behind this we'll build up a five by three area so that is one there, two, three, four, five, just like this. That will go on just like that. And then a block there, a slab right there and there, and then a fence just there. And then we will just build up four blocks right here. So one, two, three, four, just like this. And then three stone brick walls, one, two, three, and then two dark oak fences on top, just like that. And then what you can do it just repeat this onto the other three sides of course the exact same design as we just built so that will just go there just like this and then of course the fence in just there and then the five by three area that will go up just like that just like this and then that will just go in just like that and so you can just repeat this for the other two sides and that will look just like this of course each side is exactly the same and then at the bottom, we will just add in some stairs around here, just to kind of add a slight rim just around here. And so just build these on just like that. And then the next thing we will do is just add in some windows onto this tower. So grab yourselves some black stained glass and um, leave two blocks here, place a window just there, and then leave two blocks there, and then place a window just there, 
and then the two blocks and the window just like that. And then if you do come down to the height of the diamond block and come across, and then below this we'll just place another window just there. Do not worry too much about the window placements, it's just for decoration. And then it is now time for step three. And so on this side right here, on this corner right here, we will build up 13 blocks. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, just like this. And then we will go in kind of like to create a kind of a roof shape. And so we will build up two more blocks in each side. So go up to just like this and then do this six times. So that's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and then 6, just like this. And then place another block just like that, just there. And hopefully if you have done this right, this will be the centre block of the astronomy tower, and therefore will be the height of the roof. And then, as usual, the roof must come back down, and so it's built back down just like this, and a gradient, of course, is going two blocks lower each time, and that will just stop where this tower is right there. And that will look just like that. And then to actually fill in this face, we'll build up one more layer of cut sandstone just on top of this um, astronomy tower right here. And then finding the center block, which is this block right here, place three stairs, one there, one there, and then one there, just like that. And then build up eight blocks on either side. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And then on the other side as well, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, just like this. And then just build up a beam just like that. And then place a stair in right there. And then on either side, place two sandstone stairs just like this. And then build up eight blocks. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And of course, that would be at the same height as this right here. Except what we can just do is just build up these sides all the way up to the top of where the roof starts. So just like this. And then, well, we can just leave this side since well, this kind of already built in where the tower is. And then what we will do is just go up diagonally one block just there, and then place in a sandstone stair just like that. And then the same thing on the side, so go up diagonally one block, and then a sandstone stair just there. And then behind each of these areas, these are areas just there for decoration to add some depth, we can add in some smooth sandstone. And so just behind all of these areas, just to fill in these gaps just like that, and then the same thing on this middle section as well, just like that. And then of course the same thing for this area right here as well. And then that will just look and that will just and that will just look like this once done. And then now right here, it is time to add the main kind of telescope lens, which sits in the massive circle that is in the model right here. And so the first thing we will do is grab ourselves a smooth sandstone slab and place it right there and then right here. And then place a block on above on each of these stairs just here. And then leaving five blocks, so one, two, three, four, five, and then on the sixth block. Build a block right here and then come down two blocks just like that. And then repeat the same thing on the other side. So it basically is coming down two blocks under here and then a block right here. And so you can see the beginning of a circle is kind of coming along. And of course, a circle needs a top. So just place a beam along here just like this. So each side of the circle should be five blocks. So one, two, three, four, five along here, one, two, three, four, five along here, five blocks along here and five blocks along here. And then of course we can add in a slab just there and a slab just there. And I really do wish that vertical slabs did exist so you could place like kind of one like that. And so what you can do if you do want to kind of add in some shape, you can just add in a trapdoor along here to kind of add in a semi vertical slab just like this. However, I do understand it doesn't have the nicest texture. And then the next thing we need to do is grab ourselves some smooth sandstone and some smooth sandstone slabs to add in a sort of inner circle behind. And so what we will do it's build up five blocks right here, just there. And so just build these five block kind of lengths, basically behind each of the tops of each of the circle. So another five blocks here, and then another five blocks along this edge right here, just like that. So the five blocks just should just be behind each of these sides of the circle. Just fill in the circle, so add in a diagonal one there, a diagonal one here, a diagonal one here, and then a diagonal one right here, and that will look just like that. And of course, it does look a bit squarish, so just place in some smooth sandstone slabs on the top and the bottom, just like this, just to round off a bit more. And then for this top section, what we will do is place a sandstone stair there, a sandstone stair here, a sandstone stair here, just like this, and just build up a beam along here, just going all the way to the top, just there, and then just here, just like that. And then remove this block for a sandstone stair, just like this, like that, and then one right here under there, just like that. And then a sandstone stair there, just there, and then a block right there, 
and then a window in this block right here with some black stained glass as usual, just like this. And then behind each of these stairs, just build in some smooth sandstone behind here, just to add some more variation and some depth into the build, and that will look just like this. And then also the next thing you need to do is just build up eight blocks on all of these blocks right here, so with cut sandstone, so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, just like this. And just build this up on all of these blocks around the rest of this runway tower rim, and these will just go around all the way just like this. And that will look like this once complete, of course just building up all the way around just like this. And so it is now time for step 4, which is just going to add some decoration to this rim right here. And so if we grab ourselves some cut sandstone, and we go to the height of this stair right here, and we build out one block there, one block there, and then a final block right here, and then just smash those two blocks just like this. And then what we will do is just build up two more blocks just like this, and then keep going up in a kind of zigzag like this, where basically it just kind of goes up just like this, with a two block gradient, so two blocks there, two blocks there, and two blocks down here, just with a block in the corner just like this, and you will notice that this block just does cover up the gaps on the astronomy tower roof, which he just built in the last step, and just keep building this up all the way until we do come to the top section right here. And then of course just go up two blocks just like that. And then there will be a gap right here, and so just fill that in with a cut with a sandstone stair. And then just do the same thing coming back down, just like this, coming back down, until we do come in contact with this roof right here. And what we will do is just break the block right there, just like that. Just a quick view of what that looks like from behind. And then all we need to do is just add in some decorative stairs to kind of smoothen it off. And so place just upside down stairs beneath all of these blocks right here. And of course on the other side as well, just like that. And then the same thing on the outer side, so just going up just like this, all the way up to the top, just there and then coming back down, just like so. And the last one just goes in just there. And that will look just like that. And then just add on to the top, just place a smooth sandstone slab just there. And so it's step five, we are going to come out three blocks. And so on top of this layer right here, build three blocks just there, and build these all the way along just here. And this is a section where the astronomy tower does start to widen at the top. And so just build these all the way along, until you come up to this end block right here, and then rather than going out one block right here, just place three blocks right here. And then we are just going to loop around the entire tower, just coming out by one block and just building that up by three blocks, just like this, just like that. Basically the astronomy tower just widens a bit at the top, and so just build these all the way around, just like this. Basically just going out one block every single time, and then just build up on this block right here, the same as on this side right there. And then of course just continue this all the way until you do come in line with the tower at the end. And that will go in just like this, and it will look just like this. And now time for step 6. And so if we do come to our line of gold blocks just down here, and this is why we have this gold block, this marks the start of another tower at this side. And so what we will do is come in 8 blocks, and so 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, just like that. And then we will start off the line of our next tower. And so come out one block just there, come out another block, another block just like this. And then on the fourth diagonal block, build out five blocks. So one, two, three, four, five, just like this. And then we'll come in back here, place a block there, one there, and then five more blocks. So one, two, three, four, five. And then just come in diagonally until we come back into the astronomy tower, just there. And so the basic shape of this tower is five blocks and then two then five blocks, and then two, and that will look just like this. And so all we need to do is just build this tower up 28 blocks. So, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, just like this. And if you have done the same as me, do not worry as much if it isn't the same, it should be five blocks above this height right here. And if this isn't five blocks, just make sure it is five blocks, since that is kind of important. So if this, for example, looks like that, when it's 28 blocks tall, just add one on top, just like this. And so once we are at the top, we can just build in the layout of this tower circle. And so we did it start right here. And so what we will do is just come diagonally along just like this, so like that. And then on the fourth block along here, just build out four more blocks, one, two, three, four, just like this. This will be one side of the circle. And then just build the rest of the circle, so going in two diagonal, and then five straight, 
just like this, and then two diagonal, and then five straight, and then two diagonal, and then five straight, and that should all link up just like this. Of course, it's just going to be the same layout as this circle down here, just, well, a bit higher up. And then what we can do is use our fill command again, so slash fill, one squiggle, one squiggle, minus one, another squiggle, one squiggle, one squiggle, minus 28, and then squiggle, and then cut sandstone, and of course, sandstone 2 on bedrock condition. And just run this command on every single block. Just keep on going, and of course, once you do kind of come in contact with the tower, just stop just like this, and then the same thing on this side, and then repeat this onto this side as well, and then just stop once you do come in line with the tower, which is right here. And then once you are in line with the tower, just build down five more blocks, just like this, just to kind of fill in the tower on the top area. Because since we do not want to go all the way down into the tower, since that will ruin some of our interior ideas, which I will get to in a later episode. And so that tower will be added on just right here. Of course, it does add a lot of shape to the tower, which I really, really love. And then, just like how on the tower over there, it did have a kind of bottom thing, we will add this onto this tower. And so, just build out five blocks just there, five blocks right here, like that, same right there. Then one block there, facing in that way, like that. One block here, one block here, like that. One block here, and then one block right there. And then just place in some cut sandstone blocks beneath all of these, just like this. And then repeat the same process, so coming in just like this, one block right there, then facing this way, along here, like that, and then facing this way as well, just like that. Don't worry too much about the complexity of this bottom area, it just needs to slope into the centre, so it really does not matter how you do build it. And then just the exact same thing along here, like that, and then like this, like that, and then like that right there, like there. And then of course just some more sandstone behind there. And then we are going to start sloping off with some sandstone slabs. And so just build these along here with a side length of three, just there. And then just fill in the rest just like that. Of course, it is not actually centered on the tower, but that will just look like this. Do not worry too much about how you do build this. It just needs to gradually slope in just like this. And that will look just like that. And on to step seven. So the step seven is to add in machicolations on this area here. And what are machicolations, you ask? Well, it's the exact same thing under here, where it just, just widens the tower with those kind of designs. And of course, the tower does widen here. So we do need to add some on. And so start off with machicolations, just going along just like this, just along just like this, and then with your final step just there. And then in between all of these blocks, just place in some sandstone walls just like this. And then on top, just place in a line of smooth sandstone slabs that will just go along just like that. And then of course, we need to do this on the side around the back as well. And so what you can do is just place three blocks right here, like that. And then start off one right here, another one right here, just like that. And then place a block right there. And then some more going down just there. Place a block right there, like that. Then place a block right here, just there. And then some more sloping down just like this, like that and then some more sloping down just like this, and then place a block behind this one right here. And then we can go ahead and add in some walls. So one wall there, some walls here, some walls there, just like that. And then place a block right here, just there, just there. And then beneath it, place a wall there. And then on both of these two sides, place them along just like that. And then place two blocks, one there, and then one there. And then place in some sandstone walls going along just like that. And then place two blocks along here, and then two walls just there. And then place a block right there, and then just repeat this along this straight edge. Very simple, just placing in the sandstone stairs on alternate blocks, just like that, just there. And then building in the walls in between all of these sandstone stairs, just like that. And then just roof it off with a line of smooth sandstone slabs and just wrap these all the way around on every single block, just along this line, just like that. And that is the machicolations now all done. Right, step eight. The step eight is to add in, well, some more machicolations on this tower right here. And that will require us to actually widen this tower by a tiny bit. And so what we will do is just build up another circle along here. And so come out to two blocks along just like this, just there. And then come in two blocks like that. And then a middle block right here, like there. And then two blocks like that. And then five blocks along here, just like this. And then again, two blocks right here, one block there two blocks like this, one block here, 
then five blocks along there, just like this. Of course, it should be centered in the same center of this circle. And then two blocks right here, a block right there, two blocks here, then five blocks. So one, two, three, four, five. And then two blocks right here, one block there, and then two blocks right here, just like that. And then all we need to do is just fill in this top circle. And that will look like this. And I've just placed in some gold blocks to show you where the line of the previous kind of tower is just under here and so the gold blocks are of course just this circle right here and that will just fit in just like that and then the machicolations it will just of course add in some behind here and so place in some sandstone stairs just going down just like this and then place in some sandstone walls just there and then place blocks along there and then some sandstone stairs and then some sandstone walls and then some sandstone stairs just going down just like that and then the same thing along here, I set that, and then just there, and then the same thing with some walls right here, and then with some stuff, the sandstone is there, just going down just there, and then a sandstone wall there, and then just like that. And then just repeat these machicolations going all the way across, and then just coming all the way across with the walls in the corners, so just there, and then the same thing right there with some sandstone stairs, same thing here, like that, a wall there. And then a wall there, and then a block there, walls there, and then just come to a stop right here, just like this. Of course, we are not going to add machicolations on this side right here, since this side is inside the astronomy tower. And then we just need to repeat the same thing on this side as well, on this side right here. And so just do the exact same thing, just going down like this, just there. A sandstone wall right there, a block right there, sandstone walls, and then just carrying, and then just stopping right here. And that will just look like this, just going around and then just stopping here and stopping here. Do not worry too much about where you do stop, since when we do just put the roof, we will just smash any blocks that do get in our way. Right, step nine. So step nine, we are going to add in the kind of decorative parts of the tower up here. And so what we are going to do is build up six blocks from this line right here. So one, two, three, four, five, six, and then on here as well, one, two, three, four, five, six, just like that. And then we're going to add some sandstone stairs there, some sandstone stairs there, some sandstone stairs here, some sandstone stairs here, just there. And then a block right there and there. And then some sandstone stairs right here, some sandstone stairs right here, and then some sandstone stairs just facing in, just like that. And then place two walls on top, just like that. And then all we need to do is repeat this design on if every on the other three sides. So you're going up six blocks up here, just like that, just there. And then of course, just adding in the sandstone stairs. Of course, the design is exactly identical, just the orientation is at a 90 degree angle. And so those two will look just like this. And then what we need to do is just repeat this onto the other two sides. And those four will go on just like that. And then all we need to do is just connect them together and then just come to any of these four gaps and place the two blocks right there, just there. And then two blocks right there, just like that. And then two sandstone stairs, just sloping down, just like this. And then one right there, one right here. And then a block right in the middle, just like that. And then just place in two sandstone walls, just like that. And then I will just show you the exact same thing on this side. So two blocks right here, two blocks right here. One stair there, one stair there, one stair there, just like that. And then stairs on the top, so one there, and then one there. And then the same thing on this side. And then a block in the middle, just like that and then two sandstone walls on top, just like that. And then just repeat that for the other two sections along here. And that will then look like this. And a fun fact, this is where Harry and Hermione are standing and where Harry and Dumbledore do apparate away. And this is where Dumbledore stands when, yeah, he dies. He falls off right there. And so if you do want to do some roleplay, you can just punch a friend off this tower and that will be reenacting Dumbledore's death. And then the final thing we need to do is just add in some railings, so five blocks along here, and then just build these all the way around each of the corners, and let's continue this all the way around the tower, just to add a little bit of safety since it is quite a tall tower, and you do not want to follow Dumbledore's footsteps and just fall off and plummet to your death. And so just repeat these all the way around. And so we just need to add in the roof now, and so step 10, we are going to add in the roof of this tower right here. And so what we are going to do is build a four by five area right here. So one, two, and so build up just like that. So that is, and so that is the five blocks along here. And then build up three more blocks. So one, two, three, 
just like this, and that will be this 4x5 area, just like this, and then just place in a block right there, and then a dark oak fence on top, just there. And then behind, we are going to build a 2x5 area, so 1, 2, just there, and then come across just like that, and then we are going to place in a 2x3 area on top, just like this, and then a block on the top, just there, and then two dark oak fences on top, just like that. And then behind here, we are going to build a 4x3 area, so that is 1, 2, 3, 4, just like that, and then a block on top, just there, and that will look just like that, and then another fence on top, just right there. And then identical to this section, another 4x3 section, so 1, 2, 2, 3, 4, a block in the middle, just there, and then behind it, we are going to build a 3x3 three three area, so 1, 2, 3, just like that, and then two blocks on top, just like that, and then a fence right there. And then lastly, we are going to build up three blocks with some dark oak planks, so 1, 2, 3, and if you have done this right, this will be in the centre of the tower, and then we are going to place four blocks of stone brick walls, so one, two, three, four, and then two blocks of dark oak fences on top, just like that. And then the next we are going to do is just do the exact same thing on this side right here. So start off with a five by four section, so that is five right there, two, three, four, just like that. Of course, identical to this side, and then a block in the centre, just there, and then a fence on top, and then a two by five area behind, just like this, just like that, and then a 2x3 area on top, so just like that, and then with a block on top, and then two fences just like this, and then a 3x4 area on top, so that's 1, 2, 3, 4, just like this, and then a block on top, and then a fence just there, and then another 3x4 area, so that's 1, 2, 3, 4, a block in the middle just there, and then a 3x3 area just there, Two blocks on top, a block right there, and that will just go in just like that. And then we just need to fill in the gaps right here. And so just going in diagonally, we are just going to go up four blocks just in that gap right there, just like this. And then another diagonal just there, so just two blocks like that, just there. And then just going up just like that. And then again, going up diagonally in this gap along there, just like that. And then all we need to do is to repeat this onto the other three sides, and that will complete this tower. And that roof would just look just like this. Oh, and then this side turret, well, it has another turret for itself, so it's a turret on a turret, basically. And so what we will do is come down five blocks from our maculation. So one, two, three, four, five, and then on the sixth block, just place, I'm just gonna place a gold block just to mark that up, just right there. And then we are going to add in this side turret. And so what we are going to do is come out diagonally one block just there, come out again, and build three blocks just there, like that, and then three blocks just there, and then three blocks coming back in just like that. And that circle will just go in right there, and then this gold block just measuring where it is, so let's remove that just now. And so this tower itself is 18 blocks tall, so build up 18 blocks, so 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, and then just build out the exact same rim on the top, just like here. And of course, you will have to break into the original tower we just built. Don't worry, it is perfectly fine, it is meant to be broken into, and so that will just go in just there. And then what we will do is just use our four commands to slash fill, lexicon, lexicon, or squiggly thing, squiggly thing, minus one, squiggle, 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 minus 18, in the squiggle, and then cut sandstone, just like that, and then just run this command on all of these rim blocks along here. This, of course, will interrupt the shape of the astronomy tower below, but that is fine, do not worry, and that will just go on right to there. Of course, it does interrupt this area right here, so I guess, well, for the interior, uh, I guess there could be like a floor in here or something with a kind of archway, door with an arch doorway just there, but of course, some ideas will be done later in the series. And then you will notice, well, this is a 3333, three, 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 and well, this roof right here was also a 3333. Three, three, three. And so we would just do the exact same thing, I think. Or I'd do something similar. And so build a 3x3 three three area just there, just like that, a block on top, and then a fence, and then another 3x3 three three area behind, just like that, and then a block on top with a fence, just like that, and then two blocks just there, 
and then two sands and then two walls and then another fence just there and then all we need to do is just repeat this onto the other three sides of course each side is going to be identical to the, all the other sides and of course do not worry if you do get close to the roof that is the point this tower is of course basically attached to the roof since it is very very close and that will just go around just like that and then of course we will just add in some of these decorative stairs along here just wrapping around the entire tower just like that and then the same thing along there and then finally to finish off this tower we will just add in some windows and so it comes down two blocks on this edge place two right there leave a few block gap and then two more just there and then the same thing on this side two blocks three blocks and then two blocks right there and that tower will look like that and my gosh it is looking really really cool right time for step number 12 which is the roof of the main tower itself but the first thing we want to do is just add in a window so come down three blocks right here and place a window there and then leave a two block gap and then a window right there just to add some let some light into the building and so what we are going to do very simply is to just come to the top of the tower up here it's come out eight blocks so one two three four five six seven eight just like that and then basically what we will do is just come down and it's just bring this roof down all the way down just like this basically going down two blocks each time and these roofs should nicely just tuck into these gaps along right here and we'll just come to stop if you do come in contact with the tower so just stop right there and then just continue bringing this down all the way of course just stopping when you do come in contact with the tower of course these roofs are very close together and so when you do come into contact with the tower just stop just like that just stop just like this there will be a few holes but it doesn't really matter and then continue this roof down just like that and then right here as well like that and the last one should just be on top of this windowed area just right there and this gap does annoy me quite a lot and so what we will do is just build in and just place two blocks right there just like that and then on the top we will just place in a line of dark oak fences just going along just like that and of course the roof will of course just come back down as well and so just bring it all the way along just like that and just bring this one down this one should of course not be interrupted all the way down it should just come in and float very nicely to the bottom of this area just there and of course just break that stair there it doesn't really matter it's complete hidden so do whatever you want just there and just bring this all the way down like that and just coming down at a gradient of two blocks and that will just come down all the way like this and then it will hopefully just land just there just perfectly don't worry if it is a few blocks off just make sure it does come down to this block right here and it is now time for step 13 the last and unluckiest step since it completes the tower which allows Dumbledore to get thrown off okay and so the first thing we are going to do is just build along two blocks along this entire rim just going along all the way just like this like that and then when you do come to this block right here just place three blocks just there like that and then just build up behind it just like that and then place three blocks just there just like that in the center of the tower and then we will just extend this two more blocks along here just like this and then place two blocks just there and then this will just wrap around just like this all the way around the tower and that will end off just there and this shape is rather complicated and do not worry if you do mess up a bit of course it just needs to be a nice smooth curve into this area here i will show you what it does look like once complete and so build two more blocks along here just like this and then come down and build an l shape just like that behind just like this and then come along diagonally once again just like this coming along and that will come along just to there and then on this block right here place a block right there and then two blocks right there just like that and then just fill in the gaps just there and that shape will look just like this and then bring this along two blocks just like this and then once again bring some and then just bring down some l shapes and those will end off just like that and then place a block right here and then come up an l shape just like that okay and then two blocks right in this gap right here just like that and then just place a block right in the middle of this area just there and i'm trying so hard for myself not to get lost my gosh this is a rather complicated thing to do and so at this block right here just build another l shape right here of course there are going to be quite a few l shapes and then bring this line across just there and then build down two blocks just there 
and then another L shape in just like that. And then just come up just like this, and then once again another kind of L kind of tetra shape thing, just there, and then a block right there, just like that. And that will look just like that so far. And then once again, bring this one across, and then another L shape kind of coming down just there. Then another one just coming across just like that, just there. And then the same thing once again, coming this down, and then once again, another L shape coming down just like that. And then once again, this one just comes down, an L shape just there, and then two blocks just down just like that. And that will look just like this. Of course, its shape is rather complicated, but it basically just a slope just there, a slope just there, and then a light curve in between. And then just bring this line along just like that, just there, place a block right there, and then place a block right there, just like that. And then under here, just make sure it's symmetrical, so one block there, another block right there, just like that. A block under there, and then a block right there, just to fill in any gaps along there. And then I guess if you do want, you can just add in some dark oaks there, just going down just there. And there we do have it, that is the roof complete. Of course, it was rather complicated to do. But there we do have it, and then of course inside there, there is the kind of telescopic lens, which we will cover in a later episode once we do do some interior ideas. But basically it's just a circle of, of glass, it's, that's really just it. And so now we can just go ahead and just punch out and remove all of these decorative measurement blocks just like that. And congratulations, you made it to the end of this video. Congratulations for me, oh my gosh, I took a long time to make and so I would like to thank you guys very much for watching and if you did enjoy this tutorial and if you are enjoying Bonnie Hogwarts make sure to press that subscribe button if you are subscribed if you're not subscribed already leave a like leave a comment if you did enjoy the video and if you are really into this series and you would like to support my channel you can pledge and support me on patreon with a small monthly fee which will mean you do get credited and your name will be so in my Discord server, you'll receive Discord roles, you'll receive extra blueprints, which are ones I'm using for these videos, and you will have, in, have your name in my main Hogwarts map. But anyway, thank you very much for watching. I hope you did enjoy this video. Of course, it was a long one, and so I do apologise if there are any delays in getting this out. I have a ton of stuff to edit. And so I hope you did enjoy the video. I hope if you did get stuck, there is my Discord server for support. And well, I will see you guys in the next episode where we are starting off the West Wing, which is all very exciting. And so I will see you guys then.